on with Ray Ferraro downstairs and Eddie Olchek upstairs with me, I'm Mike Emery. And tonight we bring you two terrific teams for our contest. The contest tonight between Chicago and Philadelphia. Philadelphia's got the puck and they get to make the first play. And that one out of play over the glass, clock stopped. With play stopped, it's Ray Ferraro time. The Blackhawks are extremely frustrating to play against. No matter how hard you work, you never seem to break them down defensively. They just don't give up much. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Keeps it going back behind the net. And they've got it again. Broke that play up at center. Onside. Fires! A wonderful shot answered quickly. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Missed the net! Well, what a great opportunity in the prime scoring here. And that just missed. Philadelphia's in their own end and in possession. And he is reefed. That was a major league collision. Backhander to the net, turned away. To Keith. That pass up the same side of the ice. Snap to Mister. Nearly grazed the iron on that. McDonald's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Propel to Phil Puller. Up the wing, moving along. Scooped up by Seabrook. Grabbed by Manning. Look to make a difference up the wing. Let's it go. That shot came from right in front. And he takes the heat off by clearing. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Ice it. Over seven minutes have been skated so far. It is tied at five. The Flyers with a face-off win. He gains the zone. Shoots one. It's turned aside. He's gone. through the neutral zone, setting things up. And puck is free if you somebody. Puck corralled by Seabrook. Carried out of his own end towards center. Gets in. What'll he do? He's alone! Huge stop by Mason! That's the end. Good work on Oh, a save there. Pass attempt to Simmons. That one's off the glove. The Blackhawks through the neutral zone accelerate to the line. Very important if he can clear this puck out. Directing that one to Weiss. No luck on that pass. Good collision. Weiss is going after a guy wearing a change. Well, that play right there is certainly going to draw some attention from his teammates. The battle in round one.
determination there by Oduya. Good grab again. Fires, got it all. That was all positioning, right into his glove. And the loose puck gathered in by Ponick. Solid work there by Del Sato. Philadelphia's on the move in their own end. Skill play by Duncan Keith. One minute carry from the defensive zone, period. They can move it fast, but they're up against the clock. Into the attack. A wonderful save, and that just beat the clock, too. We have one period in the book. The Flyers leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. Hey, kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity. over his options here. Good intercept. Philadelphia is forced another turnover in this very close game. Oh, and he is thrilled. Well, he's been looking for that hit all night. Possession Possession now on the pickup by Giroux. Save! And he freezes for the whistle. Showing some quick hands tonight. There's a good blocker start off a of glass. We have a winner. Oh, what a stop. The goalie makes himself look big. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Shot. That shot came from nowhere. Let's it go. Chicago's got this game even up now, and we're still in the second period. Just under five minutes have gone by in the second quarter. We are at one goal apiece. We're on in, moving along. Puck is thrown to an easy one. Time of the goal. Puck settled down by Manning. And he's still got that puck up the wing. That's a shot fly. Gathered up again by Philpola. Seeks the corner. Pass off the woodwork to Simmons. Just one. Nice work by Anissa. The Blackhawks are that game. It's a rather routine stop. The Flyers win it. Fires. That one blocked. The Hawks continue on in their own end. And he continues through center ice. Offside stops the clock. Got a piece of that one. In the defensive 
Midget zone still in control. Two sticks together, they cancel. The Flyers left that along up the way. A shot. Got in the way of that one. Good scrum here. Kicked out of the scrum. Off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Hammer in that catching club. Good work. Chicago's done it. Back at full strength. Cleared back out so more players can spill over the board. Breakaway chance. He makes the net. He seems to have almost too much speed on his breakaway. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. That's very important if he can get that out. The pass cut. Sent back again. Make him chase it. Good work by the Black. That hits somebody. And that's an offside. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Chicago's game plan is obviously body first, puck second. And as a result, they've opened up all kinds of space in the offensive zone. Thanks, Ray. Professional hockey is not a game for the faint of heart. One team has certainly had the hits advantage tonight. The Flyers get it off the faceoff. Lost it back to the opposite corner. 
Chicago's in their own end and controlling the play. The Flyers power play is over. They missed out on a great opportunity to tie this one up. Oh, and it's off the mark. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there, but that's where you just got to go. He'll pay for that. And in this scrap, the goalie gets held. This is what's supposed to happen. safer up here with you Doc in the booth five minutes for fighting for those guys the Hawks go on the power play for the very first time let's see if they can capitalize Caves Caves has come up short on another face off pitching this one to Vanderbilt Philadelphia is lucky it along in their own His glove like that. Looking for options up the wing. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Flyers are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Chicago's power play gets some time and gets some manpower. A two-man advantage for them. Philadelphia's got a defensive zone man. That's a solid play, and he keeps the attack going with this. The Hawks continue to pro up the wing. Collected another victory on the faceoff. And it's a good pickup. Not right off the stick. Closed off effectively and sealed. Slides it to the point. Great block crash. Smart recovery by Jalmers. Chicago's in possession as they move up the wing. Good place to shoot from. Side we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Crawford's been exceptionally sharp. Doesn't matter where the puck has come from, he's been able to see it well, and he has been so sharp with his rebound control. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. 
A spectacular performance for him, Ray. Eddie and I have talked in the intermission about how we can think of at least three or four that are going to wind up on a highlight. Dished off by the goalie and almost into trouble. Chicago's in control of the puck up the wing. Corralled by Tate. He scores! <laughs> Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Blackhawks up the wing, blocked the puck. Carried out of his own end towards center ice. Trying to get something generated up the wing. And there's a delayed penalty call. Chicago's in possession as they travel up the wing. Blackhawks get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. Good, solid poke check there. Punched away. Taken over now by Marion Hosa. <laughs> Penalty call coming. Watch for a signal here. Shen's going to the box. A player hit the ice. At least briefly, a minor penalty for Hooker. He put the puck on beautifully on the power play. Just nothing to show for him. You got it, Eddie. Let's see. The power play is just about to begin. He's had plenty of opportunities on a power play. Nobody's been able to score. Yes, for sure, Eddie. But no team worth its name is going to let that go. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of time, but no goals. Maybe that will change with this one. The Hawks want to generate something up the wing. Time to the penalty. 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Gets that pass from his goalie through traffic. Nicely into the zone. And he's all alone. They score! A shorthanded goal! It is now only one, and there's time remaining here in the third period to get an even. The Flyers control from the New York up by Hosa. to Zebra. Got it, clear it here. The Flyers up the wing are moving the puck. The battle continues, he can't get free.
between the Los Angeles Kings and the Philadelphia Flyers. Eddie, your sense on all this? Two teams that have two well-crafted game plans, but once the puck drops, anything can happen, Doc, as we've seen in the past. I believe the key to this game is who stays to their game plan will win this game. We await the faceoff, and out there is Drew Doughty. Plays about 25 minutes out of every 60. Plays it great. The Flyers get the first play. Games the blue line. The Kings with possession in the defensive zone. A shot. What a shot, but a great answer with the glove. Shoots. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. You don't get any better opportunities than that. Great save. Oh, what a flop. Still no shot. Good evening, everyone, with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, a pair of teams from the Metropolitan Division. The game between Philadelphia and the Penguins. Before the faceoff, Eddie, what do you think? Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Continue to probe up the wing. Thrown in. And he's held up against the board. It's an onside play. Puck now possessed by Hornquist. Pressing on through center ice. Terrific determination by Cole. Could this be ice? 
passing, and it will be based on the defense arriving first. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferraro. The Penguins get on the body right from the time the puck is dropped. They want to be aggressive, up on their toes, finish checks all over the ice. They're a difficult team to play against. Okay, Ray, thank you. Stared him down and made the save. <laughs> Pittsburgh's power play opportunity number is one. This one, the first one. Do we get more chance? Get first impression. Let's see if they do. Not through. Eight minutes, four seconds. Looks from the corner. Shot. Brilliant save by Mason. They don't ask how he just did. Philadelphia's continuing on in their own end. Looking to Vanderbilt. Penguins power play will reset. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Hornquist slash. That's going to be a penalty. The Penguins have their goalie at the bench and they've replaced him on this delayed call. Let's it go. Outstanding save with a glove. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Philadelphia's got a two-minute slashing penalty. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Pittsburgh's power play unit gets a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but might be enough. Philadelphia Bills, Bill number 23, Brandon Manning. Two minutes for slash. Time of the penalty, nine minutes. Flyers at their own end, controlling play. Let's it go. Outstanding work with the glove. And a whistle. A little past halfway here in the first. It's a 1-0 game. Good job on the draw. The Flyers have possession in their own area. Smart recovery by Moore. Fantastic shot now. Gets in, looks over his options here. Off of body. Directed that one to Crosby. Just a backhand. Great glove save, and he keeps it. What a glove save. He showed him the glove, and he took it away. The Flyers want to generate something up the wing. Good play by Victoria. The Flyers have killed off a long penalty. This ought to inspire them to go the other way. Good work with the stick. Back in his defensive end to get it. Trying to go to Hornquist. Delzato's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Oh, wonderful play! And in flight over the line. A whistle and a rest. The Penguins win it. One of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there, that's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. That's attempt to Kunoff. The Penguins carrying on in the defensive zone. Now it's directed to Cullen. Goes to the backhand. Blocked away. The Flyers are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Gains the zone. Great save. Stays along the board. Grab. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. 
nearing the 20th minute of this period. He gets through. One minute left in the first period. Shoots. Oh, and it's high with the shot. Just too high. Just too high. Pass cut. What a hit. I saw that play coming from a mile away. Flyers are the only team to score, and they did it once. The shots on goal are those that are goals, plus the ones that would have been had they not been stopped by the goaltender. And here's our tally. Six for Pittsburgh and five for the Flyers. Now's your chance to play. Jim's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. Thank you, fans, for joining us in the campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. stages of this game about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Pittsburgh's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. The Flyers have control of the puck in their own end. Good quick poke check there. Simmons into the attacking end. In all alone. Oh, the stop. Snapping a pass to Latang. He's in his own end of the ice now. And what's up? Collected by Sidney Crosby. Switch. minutes gone. The Flyers ahead, 1-0. Philadelphia's collected another victory on the faceoff. Oh, he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Smart recovery by Strike. The Penguins have it in the defensive zone. Headed right down the middle under the scoreboard. On the outside, a shot. Oh, and he missed the net. Puck is thrown to Kessel. Gains the zone. Oh, what reaction. He's got it again. Overworked by Strike. Lugged along the line. Hit by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Go check. The Flyers carrying it in their own end. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Bonino's shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice.
Philadelphia's got another face-off win. The Flyers with possession up the way. They can't find the target. Collins carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral lines. Great opportunity denied. Good job with the stick. And possession snaps up by Sims. Possession in the defensive zone. Taken over now by Simmons. Blues couldn't get through. Skated up the middle. And he flies it back in. Pass right up the wing. And offside is called on the play. Got another face-off win. And he dumps it in. Good jab with the stick there. Kakunas. And he steps in. Played on to Cole. Played on by Couturier. Possession seized by Kunitz. The Penguins wheel one ahead up the wing. Let's go up this shot. Got his stick on it. Pitching this one to Weiss. Puck lifted out, and the next thing we will see are zeros. Two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period Phoenix coming up shortly. Shots on goal can be deceptive. You decide whether they are in this game to the or not. 11 for the Flyers, and 7 for Pittsburgh. down at least 20 minutes to go what are your thoughts so far Pittsburgh still alive doc after 40 minutes of play they're down but not out they need to clean up their own defensive zone and then look to get a lucky bounce to get back in this game the Penguins leave their own end. passing one off now to Crosby in their own end and shifting gears. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Almost like a cement wall that time, and that puck is not going where he wanted it to. He got plastered on the boards there. That's a stop sign right there. Gets across, looks over his options. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. Pass off the woodwork to Kunitz. Up the wing, making some headway. Off to Malkin. Ship to Latang. Gives on across from the point. The Flyers in their own end have control of the puck. Pitching it to Reese. Real. Takes it behind his own cage. Team changes. Terrific hit, slowing them down. Great take, dangerous area. Puck free. Puck held near the point. Big bad save. Flyers have gotten a one goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? Philadelphia's got that one now. Point number 15. Looks ahead to start something. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Time of the goal. Six minutes, 53 seconds. Dvorakchev. Let's it go. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, just missed. Solid club save. Back near the blue line, the Hainsey. Good intercept. Philadelphia's forced 
What did he do? Philadelphia's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Nice face-off work. Pittsburgh's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Moving it to Cullen. Onside. Turned right away with the ball check. Score! That one ricocheted off a member of the defense. Sometimes how a puck works its way through a goaltender. Stops a 95 mile an hour shot, but he can't stop that. It hits somebody in front of the net and bounces through. A face off win. Let's see what develops. Gets in and he'll look over his option. Possession re established by Claude Giroux. Penguins are skating it back. There is a splash on that play, and it is going to be called. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. The Flyers get a minor penalty for slashing. Plenty of good looks on the power play. They got to stay with the same game plan. I sure agree, Eddie. We're expecting that to happen here. Let's see if it does. The Flyers look to make a difference up the And he gains the zone. The Flyers up the wing are moving the puck. Wow, what a glove save. And slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. He got a hit. And that one sent back out to center. The Penguins have it in their own end. Looking to Crosby. Moved along and in. So a timeout is taken here. Good time for it. Just past three minutes still to go in the third. A hockey game is a game of lead changes. This one now is even. Voracek picked up. That should be a penalty. A huge moment in the game. Could it swing on this penalty? The Penguins have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Flyers get a critical power play opportunity, and it's their very first one in the game. It, it begins with this face off. First of all, shot. Two minutes for three. Breakaways late in the game. What a stop. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Great glove grab. And he holds on. Murray's brilliance has been one of the reasons that this game remains tied. There's another example of it. Off. Can they clear it? Pittsburgh's in their own end, lugging it along. Directing that one to Cullen. Enormous collision. Well, he thought he was going to escape there. He got knocked on his backside when he saw it. We are in the last minute of play. And we're almost ashamed to say it's over. Hopefully it's not. The Flyers wheel it up the way. Carry 
fires it through the neutral zone. Solid work there by Warren. Trying to go to Simmons. Right in front. Punched away. A shot. Giroux's lugging it in his own end. Headed northward. Gains the blue line. A shot. Turned aside. Well, he's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He can pass. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Went to the backhand. Cut his glove on it. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. The hell to handle it. Begun sudden death overtime. There will be someone here who can end this. He's in on an onside play. He's alone. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. Played on the Haynes. Well, I mean, one guy's really hot right now, and maybe it'll be two. Well, this is where you might be looking to change the momentum of this game here, Doc, and we'll see if anything else takes place after that. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. Overall, two minutes for tripping. Pass attempt to Bell. One minute, 26 seconds. Big drive! Blocked! That was all positioning, right into his glove. Gets in, what'll he do? A shot, outstanding point blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net. You've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. They won it. Now what can they do? Put covered. Whistle blown.
centermen practice this so many times at the end of their game day workouts. And here comes the biggest one, perhaps, of the whole season. Philadelphia is quick on the draw. Taken on by Giroux. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Slides it to the point of the check. Oh, a close call there. A penalty has been called, and the game could hinge on this. The Penguins suffer a tripping call. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a ball. Five on three power. And it begins now. Just couldn't find the target. Shift to Shannon. Blockered away. Terrific determination by Claude Giroux. Picked up by the defense. A dozen seconds still to play. And he's all alone. of the game on the power play. Nice face off run. Keeps it going in the defensive zone. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. And he's hammered. The 
saw him coming just at the last minute. He's able to spin off. Puck gathered in by Patrice Bergeron. Austin's in possession as they move up the wing. Solid work there by Mann. Lugged out of the defensive zone. And the Heat's taken off by the three. Penalty call coming. Watch for a signal here. Philadelphia's two-minute minor is for shooting the puck over the glass. Enter that on the sheet. Delay of his. Laid on to Boston. something better into the end of attack shoots it off and the save there boston's power play has ended a lot and one they needed but did not get and offside is called on the play started his national hockey league career with the columbus blue jackets but has really made a name for himself as a member of the philadelphia flyers that's jake voracek 2014-15 season, he really stepped to the forefront where he was near the top of the leaderboard when it came to points in the entire National Hockey League. Great vision, plays in every situation, has a tremendous release with that left hand. Philadelphia's in their own end and on the move. Pitching it to Shen. Nicely into the zone. What a terrific save! Shot, terrific point blank save! Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. He's tripped and a penalty should be cut. The Flyers are boxed on a tripping mic. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this. The Flyers with a face-off win. Passing one off now to Borachek. Six minutes. The Bruins want to generate something up the wing. Steps are into. Oh, that's a great save by Mason. That one blocked. And gathered in by Voracek. He's in on an onside play. Great piece determination by Bergeron. Looking to Marchand. Two guys together with force. Big force. Better get your head up. That's a solid hit that he had to take there. In their own end, pushing it off. Moving it now, up the way. Let's just not go. Philadelphia's had a ton of penalties to kill off. And so far, no problem. He can start some danger here. Oh, and he is drilled. Let's it go. Good job with the stick. Puck is grabbed by Bergeron. Still controlling out of their own end. Solid work defensively by Simmons. Gains the zone and looks over his option. Save! Hammers one! Save! Taken toward the neutral zone. What a tremendous bit of anticipation there. Play can continue because it didn't come out. On to Couturier. up the wing he'll keep possession Boston's in possession as they travel up the wing oh here's a wrister he scores the goalie was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on him Mason's frustrations are pretty evident here he's beaten over the blocker side up high, it's what he's got to have. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Philadelphia. 
Hodges got another face off win. Gets in. What will he do? Jab away by McQuaid. Brings a shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Oh, this puck being so close to that. This is all a reactionary save. Big chance here. Control from the neutral zone. Number 39, Matt Pulesky, assisted by number 40. He was outnumbered, but not outnumbered. Number 40, Cooper Glass. Time of the goal. 15 minutes, 34 seconds. Sticks together, they cancel. He gains the zone. Stick handling failed a little bit there. Puck loose. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Dogged determination there, Donovan. the zone. With a shot. Got his glove on it. A shot. Oh, a terrific save on a great chance. A quick developing play. Right on the front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. The first frame is done. Boston struck twice. 2-0. And let's check out the shots on goal. Nine for Philadelphia. And eight for Boston. Limited edition team bricks are available tonight at your Boston's team insurance goal has taken them to the two goal lead that you would expect them to have. Here is one more time. We'll return after these words. Continues possession. Flyers in their own end, ready in attack. Trying to get something generated up the wing. And there's one. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Snapping a pass to Bacchus. Gains the zone. He turned that one away with the block.
under eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Salas neutralized Pocha. They battle on up the wing. Gudas is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Big drive. Got the iron with the shot. Miller is going to the box, and the call is tripping. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Clean to win on the draw. Let's a shot clock. Bruins in possession as they travel through center ice. Not right off the stick. The Flyers move to center ice. Couturier's move might have fooled some, but not all. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Nash is a large human, and when you really slow it down, you can really feel the force of this hit. Philadelphia's got that one. Now what? Games the blue line. Shoots at wrist. Fires. Missed on the shot. What a hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Great takeaway. Pakluc couldn't get through. The Flyers wheel it up the wing. No! He's going to shake his head after he gets a look at that one. That just missed. He rifled it over the Bruins have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. Carried to the corner by Couturier. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is out. Boston's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The Flyers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Philadelphia is quick on the draw. Two minutes for hooking. Time to hear the blue line to Borachan. minutes down at least 20 minutes to go what are your thoughts so far the flyers dock trail going into this third period they have to start converting some of those chances that they had the time of possession has been in their favor but they're still down it's ducked in that puck careened out of play over the glass didn't look like anybody got hurt there face-off win. And he gains the zone. Turned aside. That shot came from right in front. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Charles tripped up. That should be a penalty. Philadelphia sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripped. 
the Bruins get yet another power play opportunity. Maybe this will be the first. They've sure had lots of practice. Good reach there. Shoots. Got it all. There is some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Bergeron's lost another one. The Flyers leave their own end. Gains the zone. Let's go on this year. Oh, and he robbed it. That's turned aside. Gathered in by Del Sano. This drop will end soon. Cleared down for ice. Over three minutes played here in the third. Boston's up by the narrowest of margins, two to one. Hanging on to it up the wing. Osternox lost it. He better get back. That play went offside. No team worth its name is going to let that go. kills tonight, but they've been perfect so far. Goes to the backhand. Got in the way of that one, too. The Flyers continue to probe up the wing. Hope checked away by Marshall. Great bad stop. The Flyers directing that one to Foster. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Gathered up again by Voracek. The Flyers up the wing, lost the puck. Gathered up again by the crew. Penalty coming up, but it's a delayed call. Boston's penalty is two minutes for Elbow. Oh, that penalty's got to hurt with the way the equipment is made today. The Flyers get another opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. Boston penalty to number six. A good tie up on the face of the drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. A little under nine minutes still to play in this period. 
A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. The Flyers got that faceoff win. Now what? Into the attacking end. Looking to head man up the wing. Shook through great. Pitching this with the Hayes. Back on his stick. A backhand shot. That one blocked. He right in front of the goaltender. Two quality chances, and he was rewarded on the second one. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot. Here. The Bruins have broken the tie here in the third period. A wonderful ride to the finish for all of us now. Philadelphia's got another face-off win. is the largest play in this game so far. The largest play. It's a draw. The draw, the tie up, and his team fails. Locked away. Makes that play deep. Oh, did he ever get it matched? It's knocked away by man. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Manning's not one of those guys you expect to give a big, heavy hit, but when you slow it down, you really see the force in the impact. Use the stick well, didn't he? That one by Warwick. And that's the end of this game. The game has ended. Well, this one ended close and kept the people in their seats. They probably also noticed something on the shot board. At times tonight, the ice was tilted. Nothing going on offensively, but somehow they found a way to win the game.
see here. Two teams that have two well-crafted game plans, but once the puck drops, anything can happen, Doc, as we've seen in the past. I believe the key to this game is who stays to their game plan will win this game. First face-off nears. Zach Parisi, captain of the U.S. Olympic team and a huge part of the Minnesota Wild, is ready with us. You are here at the right moment with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich, and play is just underway. Minnesota's accelerating on in neutral ice. Great job on a cut pass. Out of their own end, hanging on to it. That's been established on the pickup by Giroux. Minnesota's in their own end and in possession. Good standing post. Directing that one to center. Up the wing still with possession. Onside. Snap by Ryan Sutter. And the save there. Two sticks together and goes to the offense. That's a shot go. Forks it to Dumba. Point to point to Sutter. Moving it to Voracek. The poke can worked. In all alone, he scores. He had people chasing him down on a breakaway, but he found a way to score. Mason's not able to cover up for the open net here. The shooter's got enough room, Edzo, to dive into the net himself. Minnesota's lead is now one. Lots of time remaining in this first period and in the rest of the game, of course, to try to build on. Philadelphia's got that neutral zone faceoff. And he lets it go. He hits that goal for another. Time of the goal. Six minutes, 31 seconds. have gone bomb. It's a one-nothing game. Philadelphia's got it again. Save. And that one turned aside. Turn back. Hanging on to it up the wing. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. Trying to go to Simmons. Into the attacking end. Shoots one. And it's turned aside. Fires a shot. The shot is off. players were just running out of gas. They were running around their own zone. You got to tip your helmet to the offensive players for that shift. They really had it coming. Dubnik's not going to be happy with this. He doesn't even move on this shot because he thinks he's in good position, but it hits the inside of the post and goes in. And they've won the neutral zone face up. Four by number 14, Sean Couturia. Assisted by number 17, the battle for the first game.
cherry picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. Whoa, it looks like his trapper's got a hole in it there until he gets beat low to the glove side. Minnesota's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Minnesota oh, play on that faceoff. You have to be strong seven. to hold that other guy off. Ray It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty, and the arm of the referee is up. Philadelphia's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Nice face-off work. Six together, they cancel. Philadelphia's in their own end, setting things up. Who's good defense? He's in on an onside play. Four goals, you have to go to this area. You gotta find a way to put it in the net. Over three minutes remaining in the first. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Not right off the stick. No completion on that pass, thanks to the defender. Pass comes to him from the crease. Good quick poke check there. Still with it through neutral ice. Possession taken over by Spurge. Gathered in by Zach Parisi. The Flyers have killed it all. And he's all alone. Acrobatic stop by Mason. The Flyers through the neutral zone carrying on. Another solid pass save. Back in his defensive end to get it. Pitching it to Eric Stahl. Flyers wheel one ahead up the wing. That's turned aside. Passing one off now to Hansen. First period has come to a close. Will the rest? So will the teams. These two teams are separated by just a goal. And we'll check out the shots on goal. Ten for the Wild and eight for the Flyers. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. Good standing poke check by Miko Boyd. That's what those pads are for. Snapping a pass to Parisi. Gains the zone. The Flyers in possession as they travel in their own end. Laid on to Voracek. Wonderful poke check. Dragged through the neutral zone by Koivu. That is somebody. Carried to the corner by Parisi. Flyers continuing on along the boards. Back on his stick. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. A missed opportunity from this close in. Looking to Parisi. Flyers! Wow, what a glove save! Oh, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Just a hair over four minutes play. Minnesota's up by the narrowest of margins, two to one. The Flyers with a face-off win. The Flyers are moving the puck through the neutral zone. Looking to headman up the wing. Turned right away with the puck check by Mann. Taken behind by Zucker. Slides it to the point to Rodin. Good defensive play and the offense. And that one's sent back out. Moved along and again. Snapped out of the air. leave their own end. Philadelphia's carrying on up the wing. Got his stick on it. To Brodini. On to Eric Stahl. Has it been on him. Set on further, they'll have to return. Now it again. Minnesota's on the move in neutral ice. and see if his goalie's got any better ideas. Gains the zone. Minnesota's recoiling back in their own end. Pass attempt to Eric Stahl. That 
play went offside. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Up the wing, making some headway. Fires, strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with the trapper won. Gets in, looks over his options here. Kick save, outstanding. Puck free, roadblock by McDonald. The Flyers with possession in the defensive zone. And it ups and in to get a line change. McDonald's got it on his stick, trying to clear. Good job of clearing. Loose puck captured by Spurgeon. Taken toward the neutral zone. Still has control up the way. Pitching this one to White. The Flyers in their own end setting things up. And a good job in the goal crease. He's got the puck on his stick, but can he clear it? And it stayed alive. Bad bounce off a team. Into the end of attack. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Ryan Suter. Minnesota's carrying on up the wing. Good shot with the poke check. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Well, poke checked away. Keeps it going up the wing. Shoots one. Got the way of that one too. Minnesota's in their own end setting things up. Not through. Players tired enough to get a rest as we go late into the second period. Cleared back down the ice, and yes, it's icing, and the faceoff will come back. Good faceoff win. Minnesota's organizing back in the defensive zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Pointed to Spurgeon. Defender held his ground. Puck is loose. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Opening face off of the third period has started it. Loose puck taken by Ryan Suter. Carried out of his own end toward center. Minnesota setting things up through the neutral zone. Shoots one. He's Let that go. And a shot. That was way, way late. You 
see a play like that, Doc. That goaltender's team has to respond. Just two, and there is time here in the third period 
to get another one or maybe get two and get this game back even. Minnesota's got that one now. They've vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. Couturier's getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Minnesota's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Gains the zone and looks over his arm. Much smaller margin than that. He rifled it just wider than that. 